A new law will give parents of special needs students money if they want to take them out of public schools. The cash can be used for private providers. New at 6, News Channel 5's Andrea Klein-Thomas is live at Bicentennial Mall with more on how this all works. Andrea? Well, oh, Vicki, now Tennessee is the fourth state in the country to give these options to parents. Now, it's supposed to empower them more than ever before over their child's education, but some parents say it actually falls very short. The school year. Um, science. Ooh, science. Yes. With Miss Blake. With Miss Blake. Science is one of Rosie's favorite subjects. What are you going to drop off the roof? <laughs> The 12 year old has autism, a speech disorder, and an intellectual disability. She currently attends Metro schools, but under a new law. Finally, parents will be put in the driver's seat of their child's education. The state can take money for each special needs student from local districts and move it into an individualized education account. So they can attend their public school part time while attending a private school part-time or while doing tutoring part-time. With a swipe of a debit card, at least $6,600 can be used by parents to create the best combination of public and private services to meet their children's needs. So it can't be swiped at a Target. It can't be swiped to pay for gas. It's only approved at certain locations. 6600 bucks. That's not going to get you very far. Therapy alone costs thousands of dollars. If the child is pulled from public schools, the state will not monitor the student's progress. And if there are problems with the private providers, parents do not have the same rights to take action. We're getting them out of the system is what we're doing and we're giving people money to do it. The goal of the law is to empower parents by providing more options. Mm, uh, okay, they're big. You want to give them a hug? Yeah. But Shelly Baldwin is going to stick with all of the services Rosie is currently getting in public schools. So close. Yeah. <laughs> now for those families who think that this might actually be a good fit for their child, they would have to choose from a pre-approved list of private service providers to choose from that would be authorized by the state. Now, if you do this but find out that it's actually not a good fit, you can send your child back to public schools and that individual account would then be closed. All of this, though, will not go into effect into the fall of 2016. Reporting live from Bicentennial Mall, I'm Andrea Klein-Thomas, News Channel 5 HD.